In Linux, software programs are distributed as packages and are installed, updated, and removed using a package management system. The management system I will be demoing is the Advanced Package Tool, called APT, or APT. APT is actually a collection of tools forming a package management system commonly used on Debian GNU Linux. Although there are many package managers available for Linux, APT is the only one I will be demoing in this course. In this demo, I will not be covering a lot of the details that I went over in the updating Kali Linux demo. If you have not already viewed that demo, I really recommend that you do so you have a better chance to understand everything I'll be demoing here. In this demo, we will see how to install and remove software packages in Kali. We will also cover what Kali meta packages are and how to install them. Now let's take a look at how to install software packages in Kali. Installing a new package is very easy using the apt-get install command followed by the name of the package. The repository of the package you want to install must be listed in your etc. app sources.list file. Otherwise, apt-get will not find the package, as you see here. Let's see how package installation works by installing a very useful tool that is not pre-installed with Kali. We see here that installing this package will cause four packages to be installed the main package we want installed, and three extra packages the operation of the main package is dependent upon. Now this makes sense, but we also see that there are three additional packages shown that are suggested to be installed. These are optional packages that are not required for the main package to operate, but provide additional features for the main package to use if they are installed. Here's how you install all of the suggested packages. But suppose we don't want all of the suggested packages installed. In this case, you will need to explicitly list each package that you want installed. So how do we find out the name of a package that we want to install? Well, Googling for it is one way, but we can also use the app cache tool to search the package list created by the app get update command from all the package repositories. You should perform an app get update before running the app cache search command. I'm showing you only the first page of the packages list because there are tens of thousands of packages that would just very quickly scroll off the window. The search command takes a search expression and returns all of the packages whose name or descriptions match. The search pattern is called a regular expression. I'm not going to get into regexes here, but know that using a dot as the search expression means match anything. If we were interested in any packages that contained the word forensic, we would search for them like this. To discover all of the software packages already installed in Kali, we need to install another app tool. We can see here the output of app show version is all of the packages currently installed on our Kali Linux system, including their version number and update status. If you only want to see the packages that are not up to date, we can use an inverse grep to exclude all lines that do not contain the string up to date. Removing packages from Kali is typically performed using the apt-get remove command. The remove command will remove installed packages, but it leaves behind dependent packages and configuration information, just in case you want to reinstall the package in the future. To remove a package and all of its configuration information, use the purge command. That asterisk after the package name just indicates a purge will be performed rather than a remove. There is no indication what additional configuration information may be purged. To uninstall everything associated with a package, you should first purge the package and then run the apt-get auto-remove command. The auto-remove command removes packages that were automatically installed to satisfy the dependencies for other packages that are no longer installed. Therefore, these orphan dependency packages are no longer needed and can be safely removed. And finally, the apt-get clean command removes retrieved packages from the local repository to free up disk space. Before I wrap up this demo, I wanted to mention Kali's meta packages. The term meta package literally means a package of packages. Rather than individually installing dozens of separate packages, a single meta package can be installed to make the job of installing multiple packages much easier. The most recent listing of Kali's meta packages is found on the Kali website.
Kali Linux Full is the same installation as on the Kali Linux installation ISO file. Kali Linux All is the complete installation of all Kali's tools. This is the one you want to install if you want the complete Kali experience, but be forewarned, it is 15 gigabytes in size. If we scroll down a bit, we see the Kali Linux Forensics Meta Package, which contains all of Kali's forensics tools. We can use the following command to update the local package list and see all of the Meta Packages available. If we want to see all the tools in the Forensic Meta Package, use the following command. However, some of the tools in Kali Forensics menu are found in other Meta Packages. For example, the Change NT Password program is in the Kali Linux Password Tools Meta Package. This happens because a single tool may have multiple categorizations in Kali, but will be present in only one Meta Package. And if you are wondering if there are any Kali Forensics tools that are not included in the full installation of Kali, try installing the Kali Linux Forensic Meta Package. Yep, it looks like there's some very specialized tools that are not in the full Kali install, but you can certainly install and play with them if you like. In this demo, we covered using AppGit to install packages, using AppCache to find packages to install, using AppShow versions to find packages already installed, and using apt-get to remove, auto-remove, purge, and clean installed packages. We also covered what are Kali Meta packages, what's inside of them, and how to install them.